Hi, welcome back to another review on the Mighty Max Battle Warrior series. Tonight I'm going to review the weird sci-fi one known as Cybot. And yes, this is the sequel to the Doom Zone Cyber Skull. Yeah, let's check it out. Officially called Mighty Max shuts down Cybot. Now originally this one wasn't released in Australia, so I got the second hand one. Unfortunately it's incomplete, so I'll do my best. Now as for Cybot, he's pretty much a mix between Ed 209 and Black Sabbath. <laughs> so he has a real cyberpunk tone to him. Now to open Cybot, pull his head all the way back, pull down the armor. As for the characters, we have Max, and returning as the villain is Cyber Skull. This time he has greyish armor, and he looks a little bit more grittier. Design wise, he goes very well with the set. Now originally there was a hover vehicle, but unfortunately I don't have it. Anyway, Cyber Skull's back, and he resumes his quest for world domination. And his ultimate weapon is Cybot. Now as for the big machine's interior, it's pretty much all the wires and techno stuff. And there are two androids in the back working the control panel. Now combat wise, Cybot's pretty much a mix between Ed 209, the evil robot of Robocop 2, and those giant future Terminator war machines in the future war. Now originally he had a visor on his head, and according to the official comic strip, his eyes are laser cannons. On his right arm is a buzzsaw. Now unfortunately I don't have the original piece, so I created this custom one as a replacement. So I guess that's good for close range combat. And on his left arm is the missile launcher. Anyway, as for the official comic strip, yeah, it's, uh, let's just say things go nuts. So the story goes with Max watching TV, and he sees Cybot attacking the Sydney Opera House. Realizing that the world needs rescuing, Max channel surfs and he teleports his way to Sydney. Cyber Skull locates Max and he orders Cybot to eliminate him. Cybot unleashes all his firepower and Max starts running for his life. Now Max gets his hands on this super remote and he manages to stall Cybot. Cyber Skull starts getting frustrated and he heads outside, and Max manages to get control of Cybot, and he gets the big machine to slice Cyber Skull in half. Yeah, <laughs> that was uh, very bizarre. Closing time. Place Max in the back, in between the two androids. Put Cyber Skull in front. Close the armor and shut the head. Yeah. Yeah, Cybot is a good reference to those action sci-fi flicks in pop culture. Oh yes, and when it comes to gaming, make sure to play in moderation. Anyway, hope you enjoyed Cybot's review, and I'll see you on the next one.